In the xy plane, the points with coordinates 0, negative 5 and 6, negative 2 lie on line L. Line P contains the point with coordinates negative 5, 0 and is perpendicular to line L. What is the x-coordinate of the point where lines L and P intersect? Let's begin by sketching this out so we have a pretty good idea of what's going on. So let's start with our line L. So we've got 0, negative 5. So here is 0, negative 5. And then we have 6, negative 2. Something like this. And let's connect them with, let's say, that line right there. Perfect. So that's line L. Now what about line P? It contains the point with coordinates negative 5, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here is negative 5, 0. And it's perpendicular to line L. So that means it intersects line L, forming a right angle. So let's see if I can get something close to right angle. That's good enough. This is a right angle. What is the x-coordinate of the point where L and P intersect? Well, here is P. So we're looking for this point right here, which is going to have coordinates x, y. So what I need to do now is use the information that I'm given to find the equation of line L. That will allow me to find the slope of line P because when you have two perpendicular lines, their slopes are negative reciprocals, which means I can then find the equation of line P and then use those two equations to solve for the intersection point. So a few steps here, but let's go ahead and take this step by step. Let's start by finding the slope of line L. And we do that by using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's do negative 2 minus negative 5 over 6 minus 0. Negative 2 minus negative 5 is 3 over 6, so we get a half. Which means, first things first, let's find the equation of this line L. You can either plug in the slope and one of the points into either the y equals mx plus b formula or into the point slope formula. Either one is fine. We also can note that this has a y intersect intercept of negative 5. So this is the b value for this line. So I know right away that my equation of this guy is y equals 1 half x minus 1. 5. Now what about line P? Well, I know its slope is negative reciprocal of 1 half because they're perpendicular. So the slope of P is going to be negative 2. And now again, I can plug the negative 2 and this point negative 5, 0 either into y equals mx plus b or point slope. I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. Point slope would be y minus y naught minus m times x minus x naught. Uh, but I'm going to use this. It's just a bit more straightforward. So my y value for this point is 0 equals slope is negative 2. x value is negative 5 plus uh, b. Solving for the b value. So I get 0 equals 10 plus b. So b is negative 10. So finally, my slope for line p, or my equation for line p, is going to be equal to the slope, which is negative 2, x minus 10. So now to find the point of intersection, I set these two equal to each other. So I get 1 half x minus 5 equals negative 2x minus 10. So bring the 5 over. I want to get this as equal to negative 5. Add 2x to both sides. I'm going to get 5 halves x. Multiply both sides by 2 fifths. And I get x equals negative 2. So that's my x-coordinate, and that's all I need. So I'd go back up here and pick choice E, and that's the answer. So a lot of steps here, but if you remember your fundamentals of lines, you remember how to find the slope, how to find the slope of perpendicular lines, and then how to find the equations of the lines based on a point and a slope, you're good to go.